Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And when we last left off, we stood up Privislavitz and bought Shadowmere, but now it's time for the amorous adventures of bold Sir Hans Crapon. You know the heir to the town of Retai, young Sir Hans Crapon, well enough to realize that there's more than a little truth to the rumor that he's an incorrigible seducer and a whoremonger. But then again, maybe he's just looking for love, the kind you can't buy at the bathhouse. True enough, you better, you have a feeling that if you knew him better, you are very likely to get drawn into his amorous adventures. His lordship's herald, his messenger of love, it has a ring to it. So indeed, this is the brand new DLC on the Steam uh, page. It's $9.99, and let's go ahead and close it out. And also the tournament DLC came out. Now I'm going to focus on the Hands Capon DLC primarily, but if we get involved in a tournament, then why not? Uh, yeah, let's see. Just go and ask Sir Hands Capon about it, and he'll tell you all you need to know about the tournament. So here we are. I'm not exactly sure where we are in the grand scheme of things. I'm not even sure how to play this game anymore. But I see Shadow Mirror. Oh crap. Oh, there we go. Stairs. Yeah, stairs are very important. All right, so I'm not sure if we have a quest marker. Let's open up our journal and see if we have, let's see, wait until Sir Hans Capon's amorous adventure has reached a conclusion. Is that what we're doing? Let's see, chomps on the river, yeah, shooting, and uh, boar meat, woman scorn, yep, yep, yep. I was collecting Queen of Sheba's sword, but I don't really want to do that now. I want to do the epilogue. The torch is gone and his men is scattered, but there's still many things left unsolved. Wait until Hans Capon's amorous adventure has reached a conclusion. Show? <coughs> Do we have a quest marker for that? Where are we going? Or is this too late to start? Because I really, really do not want to start a brand new character to do this. Ah, uh, okay. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and be right back with you. All right, game is saved as we pulled up to Sir Hans's camp. I forgot that he ran off uh, to the northeast. So if you're playing the DLC after you've beaten the game, uh, he's going to be right up here, and he's marked as a quest giver. So there is Sir Hans, long time at no see, good sir. No, I don't want to cook Sir Hans. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Amorous adventures, good sir. So what now? Well, young sir, what now? Shall we ride boldly forth to adventures new? I never took you for a romantic soul. But as it happens, a romantic soul is just what I need by my side right now. What, here? Now? Aren't we leaving? Nice. Ah, that's just the thing. Here we are, about to ride off into the unknown. Well, who knows what fate has in store for us? What if we should fall as heroes on the battlefield? He's starting to get How philosophical. Can I this world with a quiet heart, never having known true love. I'm a little worried about you, sir. Aren't you getting overheated inside that armor? Look, I can't just go off and get my head chopped off somewhere without first winning the heart of the girl I love. So are you going to help me or not? Of course, I paid ten dollars. I'll gladly help. Well, affairs of the heart are what I do best. I'll be glad to help you. So what do you want me to do? You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. We're you Cupid, shall then. You a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her and... Um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. Oh Who yeah? Who is this Carolina? Does the she shave her armpits? The first maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Um, not really. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Well, I do have a nice horse. Uh... Not sure I agree. Oh, <laughs> no, we don't upset Sir Hans and say, I wouldn't agree. So, no, we don't know no, her, actually. I don't know who you mean. Really? Maybe I'm right about your barnyard interests. Well, all the more wenches for me. Indeed. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. Let me guess. Bandits. Uh, what, happened what happened to it? To it? 
I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. I do have those loaded dice. Handsomely. All right, oh, sounds well, good. Know. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? Like a curse or I anything? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Ah. Well, that's not important. So you bet a rare family heirloom, even though you don't know how to play dice. I do know how to play dice, as long I'm as the other to remember how to play cheap. dice. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groption. Well, I'll beat him. have had him clapped in the stocks. All right, if that's what you want, I'll go to Ledechko and find this swindler of yours. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So kill him then. All right, so get Capon's family necklace back. Objective started. So we've got an objective marker now, the game of throws. Oh, I see what you did there, Rabbit agrees. Get back the necklace they lost and find the player who won Sir Hans's necklace. And then Honeyed Words, so another quest started. What does, what does that one entail? Multiple quests accepted, I see. All right, so get the necklace back and get back the necklace and find the player who won Sir Hans's necklace. So I will be riding off to Ledechko, and when we get there, I'll be right back with you. One moment. All right, here in Ledechko, and it looks like we are at the tavern, and if I had to say, then one of these fine gentlemen. Good health to you, Henry. Yeah, you too, villager. Hello, villager and Ledechko player. I think this is our guy here. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Then you would be honored if I, um... Have you got are his you necklace? Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. Klein nobly may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. Well, I, I can read really Latin that. and throw dice. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewelry you want from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace. All necklace. right, on to the next guy then. Which way did he go? You know Which way did he heading? go, George? He was waiting for someone here. But when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. Well, it's midday. It's like 10.30 or so. He mentioned something about so. camping by the bridge over the Sassau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. All right, so what was he like? Can you tell me anything else about him? Like, did he want to Fine stick you with a sword? Or? Well dressed, on horseback. Not quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interesting looking dice. He yeah, he's got well those uh, loaded Aye, dice too. No wonder. Fine dice they was. Made special. All shiny and whatnot. Well, so's my sword. So if the dice don't fall my way, the That's sword will. I'm just saying. See you later. All right, so we have found the dice player. And now our objective is to, bickety bam, find the nobleman who won the necklace and get back the necklace that he lost. Now let's take a look at the map and see which way did he go, George. And holy crap, he's all the way past the monastery. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ride to the monastery and I'm not very well liked there with the whole backstabby and jumping off the building sort of thing, but we'll make our way up to the bridge on the eastern or the western side of the map and I will be right back. So riding in the fields, uh, the monastery is behind us and we're making a beeline west of that bridge, but I just wanted to say, um, first, thank you for rejoining me for Kingdom Come Deliverance if this is the first time on the channel for you. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold like Sir Hans Capon, and Shadowmere is a beast. Um, pebbles? Whenever I would run pebbles hard, that stamina bar would just degenerate like crazy, but Shadowmere looks like she can run for miles. Or he. Alright. Broken down bridge. Here we are. So we're looking for a finely dressed nobleman, and there seems to be a camp over there. So maybe the nobleman set up camp out here. Hello, nobleman. Are you around, good sir? Oh, geez. Well, um, we found him, apparently. I didn't do it. Don't you look at me in that tone of voice. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to remember how to fight, aren't I? Are you off to something? 
I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um... Well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Are Your we master? drunk? This thing is saturated. Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now, I'm helping Sir Hans just Capon now. with a, um... A, a private matter. Those okay. are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Donkey, in the service of... You donkey! Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. And it just keeps branching off, but we paid for the DLC. Might as well. I'm, I'm listening. listening. Tell me what you know. I will. I hope there was someone back I'm there. I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is... This is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him like this. Ah, Do I trust God you? God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. I can tell you had Alphonse to wear a towel. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. Yeah, usually when I does. I pulled myself together. I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Yeah, and you didn't take them down, huh? Days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And okay, when you do, so I am Alphonse. You'll find what you're looking for. Oh, crap. All right, well, we need to get some information, so who is Alphonse, and how am I supposed that to pass? That doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know yeah, him? Yeah, are you sure? Why? He moved in altogether different circles, among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out. Go anything. ahead. Snoop around. All right, I really don't care why he doesn't do it himself, and how do I recognize the killer next how of all? How am I supposed to recognize the killer? He's got Ask blood on his around. boots. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but you might pick up some clue. So I'm Sherlock Holmes now. You have now. a look around for that necklace. Yes. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognize anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. So dice is once again... I don't care about the murdered man. What do you know about what them? You know That's about the something we need to know. Camp. Are they heavily Actually, armed? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. That's what I thought. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau Custodian would lend you a few men. <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. Once again, no one can be trusted. All right. Uh, what was, yeah, what was he supposed to negotiate about? What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? Yeah, that, that's going to be key. That. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. Well, if I'm going it in as Alphonse and they're like, hey, let's talk about that the thing. the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchant's wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff. Nor Vlasheen, for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Yeah, Damn it sounds politics. like it. All right, so what do I need to watch out for in the guise of Alphonse? Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. 
So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. All right. Okay, so what a mess this has turned out to be. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So and I think my armor's me? pretty good. Of course I'm gonna help you. I'll help you. I'll have to go, though, to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. Which I will, because I don't remember how to fight in this game. All right, in the dialogue, that's fine. Find out who killed Sir Alphonse. Examine the scene of the crime, huh? All right, so we shall inspect. Uh, looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had, money, jewelry, even his boots. Henry, I'm glad you came. I never left, man. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? Ooh, a scorched map, you say? Now that's curiouser and curiouser. So let's take a look at that. Um, can we? No, that's the player. We need the inventory. I am so out of touch. It's not a quest item. Is it another? Yes, the scorched map. Read. Okay, so Sasau. Down south of the charcoal burners, I imagine. And then it's got the dice on the map there, so maybe... That's where they are? It does make me wonder, if the map is not going to show us a quest marker, then we're definitely going to have to do it ourselves, and that looks to be the case. So find the hideout of the robber baron. Find... Well, you know what? We will get that eventually. The Game of Throws. So the hideout is up here to our north. And find out who killed Sir Alphonse. I am interested in finding the scorched map first because maybe that's something uh, that Alphonse here had or a place he was going or maybe lead us to the camp. So what I'll do is I'll head to Sasau and head down south and try to find that location on the treasure map first before I head up north. So I will be right back. So after looking, I came to the conclusion that the map was actually pointing us to the quest marker anyway. So we're going to go ahead and head to the investigation area. I mean, there's the charcoal burners camp, and then it was... See, the funny thing is, is the map orientation was not set. Um, where north was actually facing up, north was kind of off to the side. But we are we're in it now. Holy crap, can't see a thing. All right, so we're going to want to cut across these hills somehow. Maybe head up in this general direction and get to the investigation area. Hopefully Shadowmir doesn't die. Hopefully Shadowmir can get up these hills Skyrim style. And yes, indeed. So we'll follow some paths in the inner wood, but I tell you, I cannot see a thing. Kind of look at, looks like some lookout towers. I mean, they are deep in the woods. I will give it to them. If hiding was what they are doing, then they're doing a pretty good job. All right, we're in the investigation area. We'll look for a camp or wait until we are shot off of our horse, essentially. Not sure what to expect around here. Probably going to die. Which, that would be a shame, but... We would reload, essentially, where we were. Don't see any movement. Don't see a tint or anything. But one thing about it, once we do find them, we're going to need to get the drop on them. big investigation area. Where are we in the grand scheme of things? Yeah. We've got quite a bit of woods to uncover. We just need some sign of life. Anything at all. Is that a camp I see straight ahead? Yep. 
So I'm guessing this is it. Alright, let's sneak up and see if we can scout them out in any way. Oh, well. Okay, so we found the hideout of the robber baron. And we're going to get sent right into... Oh, that's right! We're, uh, we're undercover. Alright, this looks like a fest festive place. More dice players. I wonder if uh, those noblemen there are the ones with the necklace. Or maybe... Is that Radzig? What is Sir Radzig here doing in commoner's clothes? I knew something was up with dear old dad. Alright, announce myself. Yeah, I probably don't want to sneak then. Alright, here I am. I am Alphonse. I'm here to talk about the 12,000 Groschen and the safety of pilgrims and all that Would good I stuff. Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bielewitz? You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? Yes, all eh? the way from Prague, eh? Hey, you're Canadian, eh? From Prague via Gurim? Prague, yes, quite. But I travelled via Guren, thinking it the less hazardous route, comparatively. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Like you! Indeed, indeed, I concur. Yes, yes. One must be wary, well, cautious, even, when... Henry traveling. busting out those synonyms. Right, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. What, no, is she flying her plane? Just, uh, Ah, uh, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Oh, oh jewelry. jewelry like a necklace, huh? Yeah, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow Blaha. sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe. And other things, too. Uh, he keeps yeah? things in shape here a bit. Thank you. I may well do that. Nice guy. Take part in the dice tournament, you say. Yeah, back up. Are you riding your horse? Oh, no, he's got his hand on his sword. All right. So if we enter the dice tournament, we're going to probably lose all of our money, but let's talk to old Blaha before we end the episode. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye. Right. He's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? Yes. I'm Blaha, Sir Earhart's servant. I take care of things here a bit. And were you Clean named dice. when your mother went Blaha? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. True enough. We've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword, and some other things. I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. All right, so we're pretty good on the speech. I, as a guest, have to pay for my own entertainment? Well, speech, I'd like to wager, but I don't have anything. I mean, we're a, we're a, we're a knight. We're, we're noble. I don't think he'll fall for that. I, as a guest. Do you really think it's appropriate to ask your lord's guest to pay for his own entertainment? Since he put it that way, sir. No, perhaps not. That's you what play I thought. Right away, or... I'll play. I'll wait. I'll play now. No beating around the bush. That's the way. You'll All right. Let's see if I remember. Now. He's not the brightest. He ain't a good loser. Oh, so it's a tournament sort of style of dice, huh? So once we beat Noggin, we go on the next. All right. So I'll uh, go. Oh, there's extended dice rules. All right, so permissions have been added. So the large straight, now we're getting into Yahtzee, 1,500 points. Small straights, and what, what's going to throw me off is um, playing Yahtzee with five dice. You think, oh, you know, four is the small straight and five is the large. Well, six is the large straight and five is the small. A new kind of dice with a devil's head joker instead of the one, which acts as a wild number in all possible dice combinations. The drawback dot. To the devil's head is it has no one so the only scoring side it has is a five 
That's right, because ones and fives are scoring dice. It's all coming back to me now. All right, sounds good. You're a brave soul taking me on. 6,000 points, huh? Well, there's three fives right there. All right, I'll go ahead and speed run through this uh, game, and you can sort of see how I fare. And I'll be right back with you, win or lose. All right, so we lost that game of dice. Um, I'm not sure how that affected our quest, but maybe we do need to make our way through the dice tournament. Uh, according to our journal, we need to find out who killed Sir Alphonse, take part in the dice, uh, dice tournament, and beat the second opponent. So what I might do is, it's a shame I don't have my, uh, my chest here because I do have some loaded dice in my chest that would be pretty helpful in this situation. But that'll do it for me in this first episode of the Amorous Adventures of Sir Hans Capon. We found ourselves a nice little den here. Uh, we're trying to find out clues on who murdered Alphonse and trying to get that necklace ultimately. But that's gonna do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Kingdom Come Deliverance video. Take care.